After Midjourney became a pet service with no option for free usage, people started searching for a new neural network for image generation. And it seems that I found the one that performs the best in generating image. Moreover, there are even several features that are much more convenient than Midjourney, introducing Leonardo IE. And now we will explore how to use it, how to create unique image for our own photos using prompts and also delve into the new feature of Leonardo. The first step you need to take is, of course, to visit the official website of Leonardo IE. Next, in order to gain access to the application, you will need to enter your email address. After that, you will receive an email with a link that you need to follow. Also, there is a message stating that we can connect via Discord. It is not mandatory. This is the first difference between Leonardo and Midjourney, where the usage without Discord is simply not possible. The email may take at least a day to arrive. Therefore, there are a few other ways to join Leonardo. From this, we still need Discord. Connect to the Discord server, accept the invitation and answer four simple questions. Then go to the Priority Early Access tab, where you need to fill out a Google form, providing your Discord nickname, email name and submit the form. After submitting the form, you will need to wait for a day or a few days to receive the link. But there is another interesting option. Go back to the Leonardo IE website and click on the Launch Up button in the top right corner. Then click on Yes, I'm whitelisted. Voila, you are in inside Leonardo. Here you need to come up with your nickname and select the areas that interest you. For example, art, marketing and production. There is a slider where you agree and confirm that you are over 18. Then click start using Leonardo. Voila, you have entered without waiting for an email. Next, you will arrive at the homepage and the most important thing to note is that Leonardo openly started out its Discord server, then you can use it to generate image for your commercial purpose. This means that if you generate a GERD, an image or background for your brand books, you can freely use them for commercial purpose without any limitation. This is a great feature that sets Leonardo apart from Midjourney. Another notable feature is our ability to remove the background. This means that you don't have to struggle with removing the background of an image in Photoshop later on. I will explain how to do this in the middle of the video. When you connect to Leonardo, you initially have 150 tokens that you can use for image generation. Additionally, the tokens reset every 24 hours, but I noticed that currently they reset every 11 hours. This means that essentially you are given 150 tokens per day and on the second day you can generate a bunch of images again. If you are interested in a paid batch without any limits, you can click on the upgrade button and for $10 per month you will have more possibilities. The monthly generation limit will increase to 1500 image. Additionally, you will have many other perks. You can find the link to the pricing list below the video. The first page that greets us is the generation of image by other people. Interestingly, we can take a bunch of these prompts to generate our own image. The feed community's displays recently generate images. At first, we see the trending ones and then we can click on new to see the ones that were just generated. By the way, it's really cool that in Leonardo you can also create pixel art image. This may be used in the crypto world. For example, if you want to create a pixel NFT collection, we can also check out the top images that have received the most likes. You can choose any image, uh, give it a like, and according that image will be in the top and more people will see it. Personal feed will display image generation that we are specifically create for you based on your prompts. Let's move on to the most interesting part. To generate an image, we need to go to the IE Imagine Generation selection. In the first line that we see, we need to enter the dessert prompt. We write our dessert query and on the left side, we have several options. We can choose the number of image we want to generate. The default is set to 4, but we can choose from 1 to 8 image. That's Let's say we set it to 6 image. The next criterion is the image size. Note that the best results are arrived with imagine size 124 by 124 pixels. This is what Leonardo recommends. As you understand, this image will be square. But if you want to choose a different aspect ratio, such as 
uh, 3 to 4 or 4 to 3, you can use the corresponding top to adjust the size. The scale top in Leonardo means that the higher the number, that less likely Leonardo will use your prompt. The recommended number by application is around 7, so we leave it as the default. Enabling the tilling toggle will make the image mosaic-like, which is most suitable for texture and background. Also, Leonardo has a cool feature, we can add a negative prompts. It means we can exclude certain elements or, or concept from the generate image. For example, if we don't want to see the ugly cat, we write ugly for that or bad anatomy. We can exclude them. Let's try generation our image. Click on the generate button and wait for a moment. Here's what I got for my prompt. In Leonardo, there are often issues with limbs. Either there are too many or they are are missing altogether. To avoid this problem in the negative prompts, we can use additional parameters such as extra legs, extra arms, and so on. Let's try generation again. There's the image we obtained. This can be further improved by using a good prompt, adding more details, and excluding negative. And we can get a super cool image. Now let's move on to another feature where we can use an image to enhance it. Go to the image to image uh, section and upload the image you want to apply the desired prompt to. For example, I like this image of the Snow Queen. I simply copy it and paste it into the top prompt line. Below the in extract tab means that a low number create more creative result, while a high number preserve more of the original image. So the higher the number, the more your image will be utilized. Let's increase it uh, slightly, for example, by 0.5 and click the Generate button. We can see that the Snow Queen prompt has been applied by my image. If we describe it, for example, to 0.5, Two, we can already see that the original image has changed significantly. Here we have a more unrealistic snow queen. They even expose my shoulder and the face doesn't resemble mine that much. Nevertheless, the main thing is that you understood how to use this in your life. In the video I covered a lot of cool features. To keep it from dragging on, in the next video I'll be able to do another overview of this platform and its application to cryptocurrency. Oh, I completely forgot to show you how to can remove the background. You click on the image and then we have a magical button called remove background. By the way, for each action you want to do, token will be debited. Your token will be divided. For example, removing the background will cause two tokens. For example, for this photo I have already appealed the removal of the ground and that's what happened. It's a bit difficult here because the hair merged, but if we take a more realistic picture than in principle uh, or use it for stickers, we can remove the background quite simply. It's better in this picture. I played around with these prompts there and got carried away. You can do anything you want here. Face smoothing and more. In a sense, you can spend a whole day here. Thanks for the video, you have learned about the coolest alternative to my journey. You have also learned how to generate amazing images and use them for your business or personal brand. If this topic is really interesting to you, leave a comment and I will talk about how to use image generations specifically for cryptocurrency in future videos. I'll show you what you can do with it for ambassador program, generating different background, creating backdrops and more. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon and stay tuned for new videos. See you soon!